if you look at Bitcoin as money for the internet, you're seeing the surface layer. Uh, Bitcoin is money for the internet. It's probably the most efficient, cheapest, most secure mechanism for transmitting value across the internet. But that's missing the point. Bitcoin is a platform. It is the internet of money. And within it are a layer of protocols and APIs that allow you, for the first time ever, to programmatically control central bank issuance, monetary policy, transactional contracts, and currencies across the board. If you look at Bitcoin, you've got essentially a peer-to-peer -peer transport mechanism that's very similar to IP. Within it, you have a transactional scripting language that's very similar to TCP. And within that language, you can implement certain operands that allow you to create layered protocols similar to HTTP that can layer dozens and dozens of applications that operate independently on top of the core value transport layer that is Bitcoin. If you think of Bitcoin as a platform instead of a currency, then you really begin to see the potential it has. We can take many of the existing financial services systems that are centralized and re-implement them as highly decentralized applications running on top of a common core platform, a trust model for decentralized transmission of value across the internet uh, that allows us to create all of this innovation. And there's a lot of pent-up innovation in this space that is being unleashed. One of the characteristics of decentralized systems based on common standards and protocols is that they allow people to innovate at the edge of the network without requiring permission from any central actor. One of the failings of the central banking systems is that any non-incumbent who attempted to compete against the banks had to require permission in order to access their networks. And of course, that permission is never granted. On Bitcoin, anyone can create innovative applications just like they can on the internet, connect them to the edge of the network without anybody's permission, interoperate fully with every participant on the network, get that application out there, and if people use it, that application will spread like wildfire. Innovation without permission has now arrived in finance and is going to change the world.